Hello guys and welcome to this video. Today I'm gonna show you how to do full corrupted glove from start. So first of all you need to go around the rooms and check for your resources. The primary resource should be fishing spots, that's very really important. Also uh, you need to, you only can catch 4 fishes and then this fishing spot gets depleted. Also you need to literally just uh, get all the resources around it, so Linum Tyrannum is made for armor right sorry the mic was a little bit too loud i make it i made it lower a little so now the boy is gonna be fine all right so after you go to this fishing spot go to the next one and then take the corrupting deposit which is pickaxe and after you mine it out just drop the pickaxe on the floor because it's waste of inventory and you're not gonna use it anymore you don't need more than tier one armor for this shit so it's all good you just drop the pickaxe after you mine it continue to the next room and if you don't see mobs here, then you can check this room and there's no mobs here, you're gonna go check this room. Because you need to kill some mobs in this stage to craft an item. So right here we found a one mob. These spawns are really unlucky, but I mean, it is how it is, right? Okay, we got weapon frame, it's huge. We're gonna collect everything that you can right here. We're gonna chop the roots so we can make the armor later on. So we already got our, uh, all the armor pieces and we got some food, so we're doing really well. And let's teleport back real quick. Let's not waste any time, right? The most uh, important thing is to be efficient when you craft uh, items, right? You craft as much as you can. So I couldn't craft that, you drop this. And the axe is not necessary anymore, you drop two. And then you cook it, the fish real quick. And then we're gonna actually do something that we have to do because we ran out of corrupted shards. We're gonna go fish here real quick. And after we fish here, we're gonna come back to this spot and we're gonna go through this light node, right? Because we will get more of the corrupted stuff and we can craft our seed to teleport back in. Plus, we will need more of these to craft our legs, I think. Yeah, legs. And to craft the weapon so we're gonna go back here we're gonna craft a seed to teleport back still have five minutes so that's plenty of time we crafted the seed we go back uh, more fishing fishing is really important we need to catch we have 12 so we need like 12 more so we're gonna fish here and we're gonna take this herb and gonna go into the like the most west i guess this is west right and the most western room there is to go kill the bosses Okay, we got herbs, we need like 4 to 3 herbs, that's about it for how much herbs we need. Then you go to this room, there's a lot of fishing spots but we don't need them, we're going to the most western room. And then right here there's nothing. There's nothing here, we're gonna kill the rat, because why not? Why did get rid You need to be fast, so if, while rat is dying you need to do something else. So we have all the herbs we need, light it up, okay nice. And now we're looking for the bosses. This is the most stressful thing that you can do. Because you don't want mage boss, mage boss is kinda useless. But you want melee and range weapons, right? Always flip piety for the kills to be faster because every second matters, right? Alright, we got it. And now we can collect everything. The most important thing is to collect at least one weapon frame and then it's all good, you don't need more. And then you ignore these mobs, these mobs kinda hurt. Okay, I've already been here, so it's fine, we're gonna run past this. We're gonna run past this too. This is the most northern walls, right? So that's fine. We have a seat to teleport back, so good. No bosses here. We need around 1 minute 30 to craft our stuff. So this is kinda stressful because we still don't have any orbs oh we got the orb now so we have at least two so this is already durable and we can do mage uh, range right but the best case scenario would be a melee weapon as well okay let's kill it real quick my killing is so easy to be honest it takes no time okay uh, let's take a bowstring and we already have the weapon frame so we don't need it i think we do yeah we do Oh nice, we found a bear as well, so we're gonna kill the bear and then we're gonna go prepare. We're so lucky, so happy. 
because sometimes you're forced to go mage because you run out of time. But still, you should 100% get at least two weapon frames, right? Each run. So right now, you're like, oh, only two minutes 30 left. You're not gonna make it. You're not gonna be able to prepare. Don't worry, guys. We need one minute 30 to prepare, so we still have plenty of time. Sadly, our hits on the bear is so bad and wasting our time, and now might be tough a little bit. Two minutes. Still enough of time, crew. Here we kill the bear. Let's collect the corrupted shards and corrupted spike. Make sure that we got it. We got it. Okay, we're gonna drop this instantly. We don't need it. And we're gonna go and craft our weapons. Because weapons are a priority, always craft them first, right? And then we're gonna cook. And you need to spam click on the range because it cooks way faster. Okay, let's just continue. By the way, I would recommend turning off all the rune light features because it's gonna be a, a really annoying when there's so much stuff on your screen. And now let's craft vials, four vials, and legs. And while running to there, you need to do the dust, save time. Then you fill out the vials. And in the boss fight, I won't be talking so much because I'm gonna be counting. Each fourth hit is, is swaps an attack and the floor gonna change colors and then it's gonna be really really difficult to commentary while focusing on that hard boss. But this boss is one of the hardest in game, at least solo bosses. I don't know, at least to me, because it has so much mechanics to it, right? So right now let's drop these, we don't need this. Let's fill the vials up to the four. I like four because like you can fill them vials, right? Right now we can do this, we don't need this anymore, we drop in. Okay, and we got everything we need. Full stats, stamina, 30 seconds left, like I said you need 130 to prepare. And now let's see, melee prayer, your quick prayer should be range and uh, rigor. I wouldn't recommend doing corrupted gong that without rigor, it's a must. And yeah, each four auto attacks, she, he's gonna change the style. Floors are really, really uh, change the freaking colors and then a lot of shit gonna happen. You're gonna see guys, so let's begin. And while you're in boss room, I would recommend just counting it like out loud, like three and for example, fourth now, right? And now you should change prayers, plus I wouldn't recommend eating so good. So one, and then he does that, the freaking thing spawn, two, three, and four. Oh my god, I miscounted. So one, two, three, four. It's kinda hard to commentary and calculate how much attacks he did, two, three, and four. One, 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 two, three. And four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, Two, three, and four. One, two, 
three and four. One, two, three and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two. Three and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two. Three and four. One, two, three and four. One, two, three, and we killed him. So as you can see, this boss is pretty hard to be honest, it took a lot of effort to kill him and the attacks are changing each 4 auto attacks, right? And even when he summons the hurricanes it counts as a pattern. So let's see what we get. And we got uh, some rune items, some blood runes and 5 crystal shards. So we got 265k. This is not too bad because we are aiming for armor seeds and for the weapon who costs like 100 mil plus so yeah that's about it for this corrupted gauntlet guide thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe leave a comment below and have a nice day